In this lesson, we will examine two different approaches to working with percents. To set this up, consider the following question, where we have 800 people in Townville and 120 of them smoke. Our goal is to determine what percent of the residents smoke. One way to do this is to apply the following rule that says the part divided by the whole is equal to the percent divided by 100. Now to show how and why this works, let's consider a different question where Kevin correctly answered 10 out of 20 questions and we want to determine what percent of the questions he answered correctly. So out of the whole test consisting of 20 questions, Kevin answered a portion correctly, so the part here is equal to 10. Our goal now is to express 10 out of 20 as a percent. One way to do this is to find an equivalent fraction where the denominator is 100. If we can do this, then the numerator will be the percentage. Well, since 50 over 100 is equal to 10 over 20, we can say that Kevin correctly answered 50% of the questions. All right, now let's apply this rule to the original question. To solve this question, we must first identify the part, whole, and percent in the question. Now we are told that there are 800 people in total, so 800 must be the whole here. Since 120 is the portion of the population that smokes, 120 must be the part. And our goal is to find the corresponding percentage, so for the time being, let's let x represent the percent. At this point, we have an equation we can solve for x. To begin, let's take our fraction, 120 over 800, and simplify it by dividing top and bottom by 40 to get 3 over 20. From here, we can apply the following rule and cross multiply to get the following equation. Next, we will simplify the right hand side and then divide both sides by 20 to get x equals 15. Since x represents the percent, we know that 15% of the people in Townville smoke. Now when it comes to solving questions involving percents, one option is to apply this formula to all cases. So using this formula, we can answer questions such as what is 40% of 90, 15% of what number is 60, and 120 is what percent of 80. So let's first answer these questions using the given formula, and then we will answer the same questions using a slightly different approach. Okay, to begin, let's answer the question, what is 40% of 90? Well, if we want to apply this formula, we must first identify the part, the whole, and the percent in this question. One way to help us do this is to recognize that the part is some percent of the whole. So in this question, 40 is the percent. Now the number we are finding the percent of is the whole. So here the whole is 90. And finally, we are trying to find the part. Now that we have identified the part, percent, and whole, we can plug these values into the formula. The percent is 40, the whole is 90, and since we are trying to find the part, let's let x represent the part. At this point, we can solve this equation by first simplifying the right-hand side to get 2 fifths. From here, we can apply the following rule and cross-multiply to get the following equation. Then we will simplify the right hand side and then divide both sides by 5 to get x equals 36. This means 36 is 40% of 90. Okay, let's try another one. 15% of what number is 60? Here 15 is the percent and the number we are finding 15% of is the whole which means 60 is the part. When we plug these values into the formula we get the following. Notice that since we don't know the value of the whole, we are letting x represent the whole. To solve this equation for x, let's first simplify the fraction on the right hand side by dividing top and bottom by 5 to get 3 over 20. At this point, we can apply the following rule to cross multiply to get the following equation. From here, we can simplify the right hand side and then divide both sides by 3 to get x equals 400. So 15% of 400 is equal to 60. Okay, one more. 120 is what percent of 80? Here the percent is the unknown value, 80 is the whole, and 120 is the part. Now we will plug these values into the formula and solve for x. 
First, we will simplify the left-hand side to get 3 over 2. Then we will apply the following rule and cross-multiply. From here, we can simplify the right-hand side and then divide both sides by 2 to get x equals 150. So 120 is 150% of 80. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this lesson, the strategy shown here is one possible approach to solving percent questions. Some students will find this approach to be very systematic and they will use it for all percent questions. For other students, this approach may be different from how they learned percents in school and these students may prefer an approach similar to the one we will discuss next. To set up this approach, please consider the following question. Now to convert these words into an equation, first recognize that we can rewrite 40% 40 as 40 one hundredths. Next recognize that we can replace the word is with an equal sign. Next recognize that 40 one hundredths of 90 is the same as 40 one hundredths times 90. So as you can see the sentence 40% of 90 is what number is the same as the equation 40 one hundredths times 90 equals what number. In general, we can take the sentence p percent of x is y and we can rewrite it as p over 100 times x equals y. Now let's use this to answer the questions we answered earlier using a different approach. Now to apply this rule, it's a good idea to first rewrite the question in the same format as in the rule. When we do this, we can see that p equals 40, x equals 90, and our unknown value is y. So we can plug the values into the formula to get 40 over 100 times 90 equals y, which we could also write as 0 0.4 times 90 equals y if we want to use decimals. Now we won't bother solving this equation or any subsequent equation, we'll just set up the equations for now. Alright, let's try another one. This question is already written in a format that is similar to our rule so we can plug the corresponding values into the formula to get 15 over 100 times x equals 60, which we could also write as follows if we convert the fraction 15 over 100 into the decimal 0 0.15. Alright, let's try one last question. To apply our rule, it's a good idea to rewrite the question in the same format. What percent of 80 is 120? We can now plug the corresponding values into the formula to get the equation p over 100 times 80 equals 120, which we could solve for p. Ok, let's summarize. In this lesson, we learned that we can tackle percent questions using the rule part over whole is equal to percent over 100. Or we can use the approach where we rewrite questions in a particular format and then convert the question into an equation to be solved.